Hey, what's up everyone, CTN Technology News here, and today I'm talking about what's next for the Nintendo 3DS. So the 3DS has been around ever since 2010 when Nintendo unveiled it at E3, and really it's sold very well since then. The 3DS is a very solid gaming handheld with a durable design, an amazing games catalogue, and also a great back catalogue that dates all the way back to the DS, and then also the 3D capabilities which are kind of cool, even if they are just a little bit gimmicky. So the question is, what can Nintendo do to actually improve the 3DS? DS and make it better than it is right now. Well, as I see it, Nintendo is going to go with one of two options for how to update the 3DS in the future. The first option is to basically keep the 3DS the way it is right now and then release a refresh to it in sometime in 2015, 2016, or 2017. If Nintendo does this, the upcoming 3DS 2 could look a fair bit like the current 3DS in the sense that it would still have the same clamshell design found on all of Nintendo's handhelds since the original DS, and it would also probably have a pretty similar button layout. But Nintendo would also package in some upgrades with the 3DS too, so here are some of the things they probably would add. First, they would probably give it a second circle pad. People have been wanting a second circle pad in the 3DS ever since it was launched because really, it's a lot easier to control certain games with two circle pads as opposed to just one. What Nintendo has done in the past is they released a, a circle pad pro accessory which basically gives you that extra control you need, but it attaches onto the side of the 3DS and it adds more bulk to an already pretty bulky system. I think Nintendo could come out with a more elegant solution, and I think that just putting a second circle pad directly into the 3DS 2 would be the option that would make the most sense, I think that that would appeal to a lot of gamers. Now on the subject of bulk, I think Nintendo should also reduce the size of the 3DS 2, and I think they probably will. The current 3DS and 3DS XL are pretty bulky, especially in comparison to today's smartphones, which are you know very sleek and very thin. Now I'm not saying that the 3DS needs to be the size of a smartphone, but it would be nice if Nintendo could possibly slim the console down some, and possibly even reduce its size without actually reducing the screen size at all. I know that's a pretty tough request, but I think Nintendo could do it, I think that would be a very welcome feature because it would allow you to take the 3DS with you more readily wherever you go. Now, the last thing that Nintendo should do to actually add into the 3DS is release a 3DS XL 2 at the same time as they release the 3DS 2. So what Nintendo has done in the past is they've released a console, a handheld gaming console, and then they've released a larger version of it later on, like with the DSi and the 3DS. But this time, with the 3DS 2, I think Nintendo should just release the 3DS XL 2 on the launch date of the 3DS 2 to give people, you know, the flexibility that they want to get into the Nintendo ecosystem, and that would sort of allow them to choose between between two options rather than just getting one and then finding out that Nintendo's going to release another one in about a year. I think that if Nintendo's going to release a bigger version of the 3DS 2, they might as well just release it at the launch time of the 3DS 2. So basically, that's one option for the 3DS 2. I mean, the, I mean, as always, Nintendo would definitely need to put a pretty good games catalog into the 3DS 2, and it would be very helpful to have it backwards compatible, again, all the way to the DS. I'm not sure how feasible that is, but I think that would be very nice, and I think gamers would be very happy again if Nintendo just kept it backwards compatible to the DS. I think that would give it a, a really large game library, and that would give it the edge over its competitors. So, you know, that would be really great. But that's only one option for the Nintendo 3DS. There's another option that Nintendo could do that would actually be a little bit more interesting. So back in January, Nintendo was rumored to be working on a console called the Nintendo Fusion, which would sort of hybridize the current Wii U and 3DS and sort of turn them into one giant ecosystem. So the way it would work is the 3DS would sort of replace the Wii U gamepad, and it could actually be used to control games on your television at home. That way you could start a game on your TV and then continue on your 3DS. But the thing that would be different than the Wii U gamepad is you know, where the Wii U gamepad pad actually always has to be tethered to the Wii U at all times, you could take the 3DS with you wherever you went, and that would be a pretty welcome change. Now if Nintendo does release the upcoming 3DS as part of a Fusion console, it will probably be called the Fusion DS, and it could feature some pretty impressive specs. For one, it could have a Cortex CPU, 3GB of memory, 16GB of storage, two cameras, a microphone, all the classic buttons, the second circle pad I was talking about, NFC, which would allow Nintendo to actually package in figurines with games and the 3DS could actually interact with them and it could unlock content in games, it might even have Bluetooth, and it might even have a 3G chip with GPS location. That would be pretty impressive specs for a 3DS, and really it's nothing like what we've seen before with the 3DS, it would be a pretty radical step away, but I think that would be a good thing for Nintendo to do. 
Now with that said, let me know which of these two options you'd prefer to see the 3DS go down. I mean, I think I could get e equally excited about either a standalone 3DS that was, you know, redesigned and had some new features, or more of a hybridized 3DS that worked with Nintendo's current console ecosystem. I think either of those would work pretty well, and I think Nintendo could pull either one off. But as I said, let me know your opinions in the comments below. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, because after all, the more support this video gets, the more Nintendo will know that we're looking forward to their next handheld. And yeah, I guess that about wraps up for this video, so I will see you next time. Oh yeah, and if you liked this video on the 3DS too, don't forget to watch my video on the Nintendo Fusion, just click the annotation below. It's another very interesting concept, so if you're interested in Nintendo, you've gotta watch it. But anyways, adios.